Artist is so boring, man. All artist players want to do is run DMS, charge their crows, squawk, hold W, be zone sexual, chop their hands off, and talk shit through comp because their pick rate's so low. Now, I'm an artist enjoyer, but I agree, artists can be really boring to play. I think most players' first games with her involve launching a crow or two to find survivors, zoning at small loops maybe with a little success, then eventually losing because too many survivors held W or did gens efficiently. So they call her a slightly better clown and move on to the next killer. In this regard, I feel like she's kinda like Knight. His gameplay can be really fun, but his design pushes players toward 3 genning so much that they don't ever take the time to see his fun potential. In the same way, with artists it's really easy to get sucked into the 1v1 of zone, hold W, zone again, hold W again, and then you just kinda lose because your chases weren't quick enough. Which I admit is not the most exciting gameplay loop. But this 1v1 gameplay is missing a huge component of her power. Artist is one of the only two killers who can injure and down survivors completely across the map. And it turns out, when you ignore a massive part of a killer's power, you won't have much fun with them. So here's a few tips for more fun and engaging artist gameplay, just in case you were thinking about giving her another shot in the future. This guide is also assuming you know the basics of playing artist and how her power works already. Check the video description for some good starter guides. Bird. Let's start with the artist system. Always remember to incessantly spam the other survivors with crows. Maybe we can simplify a little bit. The ABBA system. Always be annoying. It is true that a lot of survivors already have hold W against artist ingrained into their brains. But did you know that while you're holding W, or walking to gens, or finding survivors, or whatever, you can simultaneously be annoying people across the map with very little distance lost? This is what turns artist from a strong 1v1 killer into a strong 1v4 killer. And while Aura and other info perks will help you with this, the undisputed best perk that synergizes with artist power is by far the most important, Deadman Switch, or DMS. I know, I know it's a stereotype, but this perk is the infectious fright to Oni, the I'm all ears to Pyramid Head, the insidious to Bubba. If you want to beat strong teams with artist, this perk will really, really help you out. The reason is this, let's say you hook someone and fire a crow at a gen you know someone is on. If they let go while DMS is active, that's just free pressure. They have nothing to do until that timer runs out, and you can go to something else while they stare at their block generator. And this effect happens even if one of two survivors lets go, wasting both their time. And then if they don't let go, which better survivors usually won't, that's usually a free injure because you can launch a second crow as soon as your cooldown is up. If you're trying to follow the ABBA system with Artist, DMS will really take you to the next level. The last tip to playing a more 1v4 or macro based Artist is to rarely use more than one crow, because you really want your power ready as often as possible, to be as annoying as possible. The only time I'll usually use more in one go is when I get an initial swarm and the survivor runs away. Then you can just unload two or three to maximize your chances at getting a hit. With more experience, you might not have to use all three, but to start, just send it. There's also the double crow slingshot, but I honestly don't go for this that often because if they move while you're approaching, you just wasted a bunch of time and power for nothing. It's also because the time it takes to recharge a single crow shot is less than the time it takes to repel a crow swarm, so you'll definitely have time to get your second shot in before the survivor clears it. Now with this playstyle, there are a few weaknesses. The first is that you might just not be annoying enough. Maybe you got a lot of injures, people are swarmed all the time, but they stayed on gens in the right places and you end up feeling like you did a whole lot of work for nothing. The second weakness is double layered maps, like Swamp, RPD, and Midwitch. This pretty much breaks Artist 4v1 style because she literally just can't annoy people on different floors. For both of these, the best solution is to just be a little meaner. No free unhooks, maybe a bit of tunneling, and using your strong 1v1 to quickly clear out pallets around a tight 3 or 4 gen. Sorry if that's a bit disappointing, but with map RNG that's just the way it is sometimes. Now if you're looking for examples, I did a whole stream of this type of gameplay with Artist. In the first game, I played how I think most people play her the first time. A chase heavy build, a focus on the 1v1, and surprise, I didn't do that well. But from there on I used two macro heavy builds and won the next 4 out of 5, with the loss being on the 2 story map Midwitch where I played really badly anyway. You can still learn what not to do from this game. Oh. I'm okay. The biggest mistake you can make with this playstyle is getting too sucked into the 1v1 with a good survivor and forgetting to annoy everyone else. Always be annoying. In the description of this video, I've linked a bunch of helpful artist guides and gameplay from other creators. Hopefully you can see how much fun she can be and try out this playstyle for yourself. In the meantime, watch me dunk on these baby survivors. That one, that one, gotta be around there somewhere. I knew it. Free hit, free hit alert, free hit, fire sale. No, no, oh, still got it. Get this out of the way. And 
what are you guys doing? You gotta get rid of those crows. Quentin. You, got, you guys gotta leave. <laughs> oh, Cheryl. You guys. Can't just sit on the gen. You gotta have a locker just to have more crows and go down. Where's Ace? My goodness. The hiding is immaculate. Zone yourself. Zone yourself. You don't want those single crows on you. Yeah, zone yourself. Don't go toward the safe loop. The chance of getting just crows is too- Alright, well. Fuck it. Bird. Fuck. It's just how it be. Ace mending alert? Alright. No way he stays here. My goodness. The caliber of survivors that I have to deal with on a daily basis is simply impossible to understand. I think they've had a bad enough start that we can go pick up Ace. Nope. Quentin's gotta be here. There's no pallet here, Quentin. I'm sorry. Tis the season of giving another boil over. What's wrong with you people? Maybe if you spent more time scrimming against one of the least picked killers instead of saboing. That's okay, we'll take a Quentin hook. Double rescue. Double rescue, double crow. Single crow hit. Oh, I think Ace gave up over there. We'll go after Cheryl. No worries, guys. You can reset. You guys can come back from this. Uh, she just ran. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking about that. Bad crow. Hold W? No. Nope. You didn't wait for my crow. Zone yourself. <laughs> nice dab. Ace already fooled me once. See the power of severed hands and survivors who give up. Oh, that's too far off. Yes. Yes, get in the locker. You're screwed either way here. I don't care which one you do. Oh. You are not screwed either way. I would have infinitely preferred you went around. Cheryl, please. I am trying not to tunnel. Just want to hit this, uh, oh! Just want to get this Quinn. My goodness, that was actually really good. Oh. Too bad I ran right into me. That was really good. Your reward is the basement. What's going on over here? Take crows, Claudette. You think running will save you? Not so, I zone. Yes, come back. No, go forward. Take an injury. It's that easy, Claudette. Enjoy your loop with two windows. Can't go over there anymore. That's right, just run right into me. A non-dead hard survivor? In my lobby? You think getting off the gens will help you? Not so. Your friend was still on. Aim at them. Nothing. It's okay. Three people busy. And we're still at five gens. <laughs> okay, uh, three people busy, they're on hook, uh, they're gonna get off the gen. It's like, I think this game was lost eight years ago for the survivors. I'm like just trying to be nice, just walking around the map at this point. Like, I kind of know where all of them are. Oh my gosh, it's a crow extravaganza. My goodness. <laughs> I think they gave up, dude. <gasps> oh my goodness, this killer's so nasty, dude. Dude, the low pick rate really just makes them that much nastier, because people, people don't even know what's going on. I mean, got people like, please don't save. Okay, they're dead. Thought they were gonna extend the game even longer. Oh wait, we got another one. 
Gotta hit this last pain res, that's very important. They could have almost had 10% of a generator done. Alright, alright, yes, yes. You really, really you had a dead heart? You had a dead heart? Couldn't just let me end the game? Whatever, I'll chase Quinn. Get your rescue points. Mm, well, looping's a tough game. No, don't move. Countered my power. This one simple trick. Get the crows on him. And then... Oh, there is a pallet there, okay. Okay, Ace. Let's see how you stand up to two crows. Oh, you don't, okay. Just instant death. That's okay. You'll get them next time. Hey, you win some, you lose some. You know, they'll get them next time. The next killer will be Trapper on RPD and they'll sabo the shit out of him. just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. Gotcha, bitch! Weren't expecting the snowman tech, were ya? 